Hello, candle lovers. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Greg, and this is All About Candles. I'm your self-proclaimed Canadian candle connoisseur, and today I have a review for you from DW Home. This is called Magical Pumpkin, and I just thought that this was a beautiful jar. Um, this candle looked absolutely stunning when it was burning. And the fragrance was pretty good too. And the fragrance was pretty strong too. I mean, so I purchased three of the candles from this collection. I also purchased Storybook Pumpkin, which I have a review for up already. It did quite well. And right now I'm burning Crystal Pumpkin, which I really, really also like. And I liked this one too. Um, these candles were stronger and nicer fragrances than a lot of the stuff that I was getting for Halloween this year from Bath and Body Works. I mean, Yankees basically non-existent for me at Halloween at this point. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, every now and then DW does a candle that's really good. You have the most luck with them in the larger two wick formats. They've actually had some pretty successful candles, in my opinion, come out of this format. There was kind of this aromatherapy line that had some great fragrances in it. DW Home is really hit or miss. Never pay what they ask for on their website. You only buy these candles at Marshalls, Winners, or Home Sense if they are like at a nice deep discount, which I think you're probably going to see these hanging out for a while at those types of stores with deep discounts so maybe keep your eyes out for them but let's talk about magical pumpkin and get into the fragrance we've got a scent story folks <clears throat> a captivating blend of fragrant autumn pumpkin a spicy bouquet of crushed clove and sprinkles of toasted allspice evolve with aromatic lavender and blue saged embraced by a smooth sandalwood and vanilla Mm. And yeah, so we've got like a glass lid on this, an embossed design, double large wick. The burn time on these candles is about 56 hours and they are 15 ounces. Uh, got a little bit messy right at the very end there, but that's because I let this candle extinguish itself. So if you look at it, it actually was a really nice clean burn. Anyway, those scent notes broken down, autumn pumpkin, spicy crushed clove, toasted allspice, lavender, blue sage, sandalwood, and vanilla. And not only would I really consider this a fall candle, but I also really thought this worked nicely as like a Halloween candle. A lot better than some of their other like Halloween candles that I've smelled on the shelves. Um, there was something kind of like spooky and ethereal about this candle that I actually really enjoyed. It's definitely got like a lavender, a floral vibe to it, and it's definitely a lavender. Like lavender really stands out as like the high note in this candle that you're picking up on first and foremost. And then underneath, this is really unique. You do have like a bit of a pumpkin allspice situation. And then in the bottom, like a woodsy sort of cedar wood, sandalwood type vibe. And there's a little bit of vanilla in there as well. It's a fairly like medium to high ranging candle. Um, the lavender note is kind of what's predominant, but it kind of works as like a nice sort of spooky, spicy lavender situation. I actually really, really like this fragrance, you guys. And the candle performed very well. It performed better than Storybook Pumpkin, which I've already got a review up. I mean, I'd say that the strength and throw on this was a pretty solid seven. Now, I always burned it in a hurricane. I almost always burn um, candles like this in a hurricane. I might have burned it once or twice on its own, but I almost always burn two wicks and single wicks in hurricanes just because I feel like it gets them going a lot faster and helps them project a little bit more. But I don't think this candle really needed that much help. I'd say it was like a 6.5 on its own in a more open area. And then in a hurricane, I got it to a 7. Definitely in like the bedroom, it was like a 7. But I'd even say in my more open area, this 
was clocking in at a seven. Not bad at all. And it pooled out in reasonable amounts of time, although, like I said, in a hurricane. And it was a fairly nice, clean burn all the way down to the bottom. I let this extinguish itself. And so right at the end there, I did get a little bit of like sootiness and discoloration, but I never really noticed this candle like sooting when I was like burning, burning like the meat of it. It was doing really well. So I don't really have any complaints about this. And if I do see it on the shelves at a deep discount again when I'm out on my wanderings, I probably will repurchase this one. Um, and I would recommend it to you. It is a little bit different. Like I said, to me, it comes across as more of like a Halloween spooky floral than it does like an autumn pumpkin candle. So I'll recommend this to you as long as you find it at a Marshall's Home Goods Winners Home Sense. As long as you find it somewhere for like less than $15, I would recommend it. I've got, I think on the website, they charge like 34, 35 bucks for these. That's insane. I'm not trying to say that DW Home is where it's at, but they seem to be doing a little bit better with some of their candles these days. I've, I've definitely noticed it anyways. Well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you could hit me up with a like, comment, subscription, that would really mean the world to me. And until next time, my dear candle-loving friends, let's burn some candles and bitch about it. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Bye now.